Hey guys, Dave with Tsunami Hydrographics here. I've been meaning to do this video for a long time for you guys that have purchased the uh, constrictor. I'm going to put one on for you now, let you know what you're getting when you buy the uh, package, uh, how everything kind of goes together so you've got an idea of exactly what we're doing. I put a little diagram in there with the kit, but I want you guys to be aware of the, uh, the pros and the cons of what's uh, available in this kit, okay? First of all, you're going to get two foot pedals, okay? And one's going to be individually marked, meaning the intake, okay? The intake is going to have a sticker on it, and this is very important, okay? It says 60 PSI maximum. 60, 63, depending on when your tube or your, your uh, constrictor completely uh, expands without uh, the crinkles in it, okay? Um, if you go too much, you'll actually destroy the, the, the product, okay? It will make uh, instantaneous little air holes in it and you'll blow it up. It, it won't even blow up, it'll just start leaking air out profusely and it's gone, okay? So remember, you have to reset. Whatever airline I've got coming in, I've got this one here set for about 55 PSI. And like I said, I can adjust it to 60 and be fine. But make sure this is your intake side, okay? Run your air into this one here. And in the kit, you're going to get a T-valve, okay? It's going to have two 8-inch leads on it. Those are going to connect your two foot pedals up, your intake and your exhaust. So you're going to have an intake or a, a, an 8-inch going to this one and an 8-inch going to this one. Then your T will be in the middle going up to your hose, okay? Simple as that, your air intake comes in this. Now this will not be on in your kit, the actual fitting, because every shop's different, they all use different fittings. So you supply your own uh, fitting here, and uh, I'll have the coupler here, okay? So all you gotta do is screw your, whatever fitting your shop uses for that. Okay, so you get, uh, I need an eight inch hose here. You know what, I'm just gonna ad lib here. This is supposed, there's the eight inch hose on that side. Your kit will come with another eight inch hose on this side. This is a 48, but it'll be the same scenario, okay? So we're going to get our air hose here. Let's see if we can drag this out. And this one here is really tough to get on, so give me a second here and I'll have this on. That one went on there. Okay, so we connect one line up in here. These are just push-ins, okay? We shove it in like that. The other side of the T goes into your exhaust. Okay, drop those on the ground. And you'll come up with a 48 inch hose to your actual constrictor, okay? Now this particular one here is a 24. I believe that's what comes in this, the kit itself. The 36 is an optional. Um, this is what you get. Now, all you do is shove it in, it's ready to go. Now, a lot of times when you get them, you've got to kind of stretch them out. I'll show you here. You got to, you, when you get it, you've got to kind of twist it and shape and get that circle out of it that you want, okay? You got to make it kind of, Force it into where it's, it's liking itself, and you'll see that it'll make a nice little round circle for you, okay? You can adjust it, you know, straighten it out. Don't pull too much on it, but you can. Give it a pretty good tug, and then release it, and you just check the, the constriction of it. Now, of course, it comes with uh, where the uh, floats. Each, each constrictor will have 10 of these uh, orange floats. And those are what you wrap around. It'll give it a little buoyancy, a little stability. And also, I don't uh, put it in the kit, but on this particular one, this is my original. I've had this one here for over a year and a half. As you can see, I've got speedometer cable hanging off of these. I just wrapped them around. I think I hot glued them together too. Okay, and it gives it, it holds it down a little bit, and keeps it a little more, a little more solid. Um, it's, it's up to you completely if you need to use that or not. Uh, it's not mandatory, but it just seems to work a little bit better for me. And uh, I'm not supplying the speedometer cable, so that's something you're going to have to figure out for yourself if that's the route you want to go, okay? Um, what else can I tell you? You are going to get another 48-inch hose in your kit. And the reason for that is sometimes guys have a really hard time or some objects just work better if... When you, when you release, it comes in kind of quick on you, okay? What I found, two different ways to do that. Restrict the air exhaust on those. There's a... This is your exhaust hose right here. The other one on the other side. So if you're able to restrict this hose, oops, you're able to let the air out a little bit slower. So you can actually screw something in there and keep the air from go, coming out fast. Or what you can do is connect up some sort of a metering valve like this, okay? Simply you can get at Home Depot, 
all it does is open and close. But what I've been doing with these is I can actually time it. I put my air in there, blow this up, and I can actually figure out how long I want to let that air out. I can time it on, on the constriction of it and figure out exactly how far I want to be down with my product. It actually works really, really well. Uh, just another uh, avenue of going after if you're not real comfortable with the foot pedal. Again, practice with the foot pedal. Restrict it. You're, I'm gonna you're going to find that it's probably a lot easier restricting the foot pedal and getting it to go nice and slow for you than trying to do something like this. This one here, you've got to mount up on top. You've got to unscrew it while you're holding your product. A little trickier, but it does work for certain situations, okay? Um, that's about it now. This is really important, guys. Activator doesn't like this inner hose, okay? Actually, it loves it, okay? So what I've been doing is actually spraying the outside of these ho the, the, the outside canvas area here with silicone, okay? And that's your waterproofing stuff, your Scotch Guard, whatever, to try to protect the inside layer of it. I've been having some complaints with some guys, and I don't know if they're not rinsing them off after they're done or what, but they're actually, uh, it's eating into the hose itself. So I, again, that hose up there has been there for almost a year and a half. Um, no problems whatsoever. The pressure's been right. Uh, I rinse my hose off as soon as I'm done with it. And again, I'm putting silicone around the outside of this one here. What I'll do is I'll, I'll just, that uh, hose is loose. But uh, I'll, I'll disconnect it off of this here and just let it hang and spray and just get the, get the silicone all over it and just let it dry. Okay, it seems to keep them from uh, deteriorating. At least I'm having less less callbacks on them. Okay, so again, uh, it will function for a long time, but you have to protect the inner hose on this. And, and like I said, the activator, especially with you guys uh, out of the country, uh, what activators you're using, I have no idea. The chemicals that you're after, um, you could be causing yourself a lot more heartache, and it might not be a a good idea of using this without coating the outside of it really well before you go spraying your uh, homemade activator on it, okay? I've used every type of activator, home, uh, K2, Hydrovator, and Super Brew on this one here, and I'm not having any problems. But again, you've got to rinse it real well, okay? That's about all there is, guys. Uh, I test these out before they all leave. I know that there's no air holes in them whatsoever. So when you guys give me a shout saying that you've got a hole in it, uh, I'm, I, again, I'll work with you to, to the fullest, but there's there's something that we're not doing right that we're getting this situation, okay? Now, something like this here comes out of the box like this. Just start stretching it, okay? Stretch it out, and it'll all come out in a nice circle, or semi-circle. i got a little kink like that. You can straighten it out. And what I do, a lot of times I'll just tape this in here to the uh, corner or whatever and keep my circle down like that. Once you get your floats around and everything, then you can go ahead and play around with it from there. Uh, like I said, a nice slow retraction on this here is possible, but you have to really take a little bit of time, figure out what you're doing with your foot pedal here, figure out which way your hose constricts to, okay? A lot of them come back once, one way or another. You just have to figure out how your hose is working. Um, oh, and one more thing. Your fill. Let me show you this real quick. This here is a template. It's just masonite, okay? But it's a template for my film. So whatever constrictor I have, I'll make a, a, a masonite template for each one of them. I just lay this over the top of my film and use my circle cutter and just cut my film out that way. And some guys will like to put some tape on the outside to keep it from rolling up or whatever. It just depends on the film itself. But this here is going to be your best friend for cutting your film out, okay? Find your, get your constrictor opened up, make yourself a nice circle that fits inside of it, um, and you're set. And again, your 36 constrictor will do uh, a 24 it just you just have to bring it down and adjust to it okay again these might not be exactly 36 or whatever but these these are the sizes that we're giving out um, for uh, for the uh, um, options that are available okay <laughs> anyway Daniel Sunoni hydrographics guys I hope you enjoyed it uh, if there's any questions I can uh, can help you out with as far as the procedure on this stuff and how you're working with your products Give me a shout or write something down below. Like the page if you like it. Subscribe. Um, we'll stay in touch that way. I've been all over the world lately. Um, just got a lot of things going on, so I'll try to stay in touch as much as possible. Um, the stuff is pretty simple and basic. If there's anything I can do as far as replacement parts or things like that, I'll be glad to help you out. You don't have to buy the whole kit again. We can send uh, extra hoses and things like that or whatever's necessary. So, 
pretty simple. You buy the, the original one, see if you like it, and then you can, uh, we, can, we can adjust sizes or whatever of your hoses and uh, make special custom orders if necessary. Davis Tsunami Hydrographics, we're out.